Hello and welcome. This is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. There is no place I'd rather be than right here next to you. And I truly love to talk about your lovers old and new. You never spare me details As you confide in me I smile and give advice But cannot tell you how I feel Hello, and it is so wonderful to see you again today. Thank you so much for stopping by for a few minutes to share this conversation with me today. Ed, today's video is a second video in a series of three that I am going to be doing. And the first one was talking about life stories and overcoming personal challenges. And I shared with you the personal challenge that I overcame. And in your comments, they were just absolutely wonderful. All of you, so many of you shared the challenges that you have had in your life how you overcame them, and what you're doing today. And I really have to thank you so very much for that. So I'm hoping after this conversation, you will be doing the same thing and sharing how you found a new passion in your life after 40, after 50, after 60, and how you are reinventing your life. So many of you are when you get, you're afraid of aging and when you get older or if you're retired or you're an empty nester, uh, maybe widowed or divorced and all of your, all of a sudden you're thinking, my life is over. Um, you know, I am too old now. I'm out of the workforce. I'm really out of it. My children are busy with their lives. And what do I do with mine? Just exactly what do I do with mine? Well, let me tell you honestly, it's not over till it's over. And I've talked so many times about in my other videos about, you know, I don't know whether I did it on purpose, but about every 10 years of my adult life, because of circumstances, I seem to have just morphed and I reinvented myself. And that has happened to me about every 10 years in my life. And I don't think I am alone. I'm sure there are probably a pretty big group of you out there who feel the same way. But today I'm going to be kind of sharing with you probably a great big change in my life that happened when I was 50 years old. And I have talked about this before because I think I've been an open book and I've talked so much about my life and things that have happened to me here on my channel. But I just want to emphasize it's you can absolutely live your dream and it is you are never never too old my whole life even though it went into a direction that I never thought it would go you know I was on television and then I was in the private sector uh, helping run marketing for a big company in my heart ever since I was maybe three or four years old I wanted to be an actress I wanted to be up on that stage and my mother once told me, you know, we would go to matinees during the war um, because that was the entertainment that we do, do back then and my mother and father would take me to matinees, my brother and I, and she'd put me on her lap and we would watch movies. Well, it just so happened that she took the family or my dad and her took the family to a movie starring Gary Cooper and it was Saratoga Trunk and my mother said <laughs> that in the middle of the movie all of a sudden I wiggled out of her lap and I ran up to the stage trying to get into that movie trying to get into that screen so I think sometimes <laughs> we are born with a dream and we are born with a desire well, it took me 50 years, that's right, 50 years to actually realize 
my dream and to realize what I thought that I was born to do. After I married Arthur, I was 45 and I was working and, um, and Arthur was working and I was living in New York. And just one day I was thinking, you know, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm almost 50. <laughs> I'm getting close to 50 and, and I just want to do something else with my life. I've been in the same old, same old for quite a while. I really want to see if I can act and if I can get a job somewhere acting. And Arthur encouraged me. He says, okay, go ahead and do it. You know, we were both together, so we had two incomes going. So I sat down and I went to a photographer, got some headshot shots taken. And then I wrote letters and I sent them out. Now today it's a lot different because kids can do it online. They send their pictures out online. But that was the old fashioned way. You used to send your photos out to all the casting agencies and to all the agents. Well, believe it or not, I got lucky. And someone picked me up and I got my first job. And I remember it was for the love of money with Michael J. Fox. And it was just, it was a movie, but it was just a really small part. I think I walked on several times and they liked me so much they hired me and I was probably in that movie about six times but you'll probably never see me because they would just walk on and walk off parts but that was the very beginning of my dream well my career grew and all of a sudden I was working with people like Woody Allen, Martin Scorsese some of the biggest directors in the world and my parts I was playing character parts they were very small parts but I was really, really happy and I was living my dream. I also got into a theater group and I performed in the theater as the lead on 47th Street. I got my SAG card. I already had my AFTRA because I'd been on television. So I not only had my AFTRA card, I had my SAG card and I got my equity card because I was performing in the theater. I used to dream that I would be standing on stage with a big bouquet of roses in my arms giving my bows. And you know what? It happened. I had a 10-year run working in film and television, doing television series and in the theater. And it was my dream come true. But who would have thought that the age of 50, that I would be living my dream. And I am not the only one. If you think about so many women who have started their life's dream or a different path or a different career when they're over 50, so many of our subscribers have let me know that they have gone back to college, they have gotten their college degree, they have taken on a new profession. They have learned a new skill. They have started traveling the world. It is never too late. What is your dream? There has to be something that you have been thinking about for years, but always a circumstance has come up and has stopped you. Or maybe your fear of stepping out of the box has stopped you. So maybe you are the one who has stopped yourself. Well, I am telling you right now, as far as I know, we only journey one time on the this earth. No one has come back to tell me any differently. I just want to impress upon everyone you are never too old to really realize your dream. If it happened to me, it can also happen to you. It is never too late to try something new in your life. It is never too late to be reborn, no matter what it is. Perhaps you want to become a minister. Now, my daughter is in, my middle daughter, Allison, is in here 
almost close to 60. And she has, has a good career and her kids are, she's an empty nester right now. Her children are out of the house. But she has just become a deacon in her church. And she is living a passion that she has had for a long time. But because she was raising her family and had a career and had a horse farm and she had all of these other responsibilities on her shoulders, she honestly felt that she couldn't do it and she didn't have the time. But through, I hope, my my tutelage or being her mother and she's seeing what I am doing now at my age, she finally decided, I want to do this. This is something that I want to do. I want to serve my church. I want to serve my community. I want to serve my God. So it is never too late. And my other daughter has had so many chapters too. Brett, now you know she has a YouTube channel. She hasn't been on there for quite a while because she's busy doing a lot of designing and web work. And she also does KDP books. She uh, was a mother. Then she was in technology. She was a web designer. And when she was in her 40s, she decided that she really wanted to be a flight attendant. So lo and behold, she is, was living her dream until she was 57. And she got an autoimmune illness and unfortunately had to retire early during COVID. But now she is back to being creative. She's doing KDP books and she's doing websites and she's promised that she's going to get back on her YouTube channel. And I would love to do an interview with her too so that some of you who don't know her will get to know her a little bit better. But even within my family, I have children and you don't have to be a woman <laughs> to change your life at 50. Uh, it, men can do it as well. My son is a musician. He was on the road a lot. He's won Grammys and he's done all of these wonderful things in his life. But late in life, he and his wife decided that they wanted to have more children. And they are now the parents of a two-year-old boy and a little three-month-old boy. So my son has reinvented himself as a stay-at-home father, except on the weekends and except during the summer when he really has to travel and tour. But he has arranged his schedule so that he can be a hands-on parent. And this is so important to him. Why, do you ask? Is that because when he was young, his father was killed and murdered? So he grew up without a father for very, very many years. And he knows how important a father figure is in a child's life. It is never too late to really reinvent yourself. And if you're sitting out there thinking, oh, I don't know exactly what it is I could do to reinvent. It doesn't have to be this monumental change. Maybe it can just be, hey, I want to go start traveling. I would like to travel and see the world. I would like to go camping. I would like to buy a camper and, and just go around and, and tour the United States. I would like to write my memoir. I would like to put down in writing my feelings and what I want to do. I want to write a cookbook. My Maybe your family said, oh, mother, you're such a great cook. You have so many recipes. There's so many things that you can do in your life. Sit down and start writing a cook cookbook because it's so easy today with Amazon and KDP. You can actually write the book from home and upload it, and it'll be out there for sales. Today, it's really you have so many avenues for women that you can do, but it's just getting up <laughs> and not feeling old <laughs> and realizing that your life is not over because you are over a certain age. And I've said it before. If I can't do it, you can do it. If you have been given a dream early on, and I do believe dreams are born with us, 
I honestly believe that. And maybe we don't foster them and we put them aside because we are serving other people all the time, especially as women. If you were born with a dream, you know what it is. And if you want to go back to school and be a nurse, be a teacher, if, if you want to just learn yoga and be a yoga instructor, whatever you want to do. I mean, I don't know your dream because we're all unique and we're all different. We all have different dreams. But even my sisters here on YouTube in the beauty community or on here on YouTube talking about other things, they had a dream and they had a need and they were far ahead of me because they started nine or ten years ago and I'm been on here just about six years. So they didn't let their age stop them. So they are way far ahead of me as far as starting to live their dreams and I admire each and every one of them. You can be reborn no matter how young or old you are. If you are 80 years old and you want to live your dream, you can do it. It takes action. No one else can live your dream. No one else can execute your dream. No one else can take action and make your dream come true except you. It's never too late. Thank you for coming by to see me today. I really appreciate your joining me and everyone who subscribes to this channel is giving us a stronger platform so that we can help women all over the world. Our community here is comprised of women from at least 70 countries all over the world. And we have similar dreams, similarly, similar wants, and similar things that we would like to achieve in our lives. We are women, and that is the strongest common denominator, no matter where we are, no matter what language we speak, no matter what culture we are in. We are women. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I do hope that you will do something wonderful for yourself today. And take those steps to follow that dream that has been with you since you were little. Do it today. Be kind to whomever crosses your path. Of course, let's pray for world peace. And you know it is so important that we share the love because each of us has so much to give to others around us. The next video I will do on Tuesday is going to be on the last part of this three-part series about life over 60 and sharing our stories. Take care and I hope to see you soon in my next video. And if you are feeling isolated and alone, please know that you are loved and that you are never alone. See you soon. Thank you.